Hello and welcome back friends. You are watching Linux Kings. Hopefully friends you will be doing great in the quarantine because of lockdown. Friends most of the beginners don't know that we can chat privately using the Cisco router. Yes, some will think what nonsense I am making. But no, it's not nonsense. We can do private chat using the routers. Yes, because routers provide us a function that we can send messages the all active users that are currently logged on a particular router. So we will perform this tutorial today in this video. So let's know friends how to do that. So first of all, we have to open our Cisco packet tracer. I'm gonna to use this Cisco packet tracer. Yes, okay. So for this, I will open my Cisco packet tracer. As you can see on my screen, it is open now. So first we have to make a topology diagram so that we can understand that how a router can broadcast or send a message to the active users. Here I will take a router that is PT router and then I will take and switch from here that will be my 2960 and along with this I will take four clients that would be my users who will log in on the this Cisco router okay as I have taken the four PC clients and now next I will connect all these through the wires this switch to this PC and again to same with this PC and same with this PC as well and the last one we connect with this switch as you can see we have connected all the pc with the switch and router to this switch and now we it's time to configure the router and configure the pc now what we have to do we will make the uh, basic configuration setting and here we are in the user exec mode now we have to enable to go to privilege mode now it is enabled now we will go to global configuration mode okay now we are in the global configuration mode now just check it the interface of this router it's fa0 slash 0 now we will type interface fa0 slash 0 enter okay now what we have to do we have to add an ip to this interface so ip add i will take the ip of class a now its ip address is 1.0.0.1 1 .1 and its subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 okay and i will put the no set command to turn on this interface now it was the basic that uh, was for the interface now we have to add some users that will be my network engineer okay two will be junior and one will be senior i will assign here so first i will add the username okay so username uh, first is Deepak. okay and the password would be the same as the name as uh, the name assigned to this and again user name that will be uh, Vishal and the password will be same Vishal okay and the third one would be my senior that I'm going to assign is Linux Kings okay and the password for the Linux Kings would be same Linux Kings okay Next to this, we have to enable a telnet on the router. But before enabling the telnet, we have to put security on the user privilege mode so that anyone easily cannot access the router. So for that, we have to type enable secret. Okay, and the password that we want to assign. I'm here just typing the telnet. Okay, not giving a tricky password here so that it can be easily remember and next to this we will enable the telnet to enable telnet here we will type line vty okay and zero and space four here you can keep uh, the maximum number 16 as according to your need here i'm only assigning for the five users and then next enter and here i will type login local okay if you will just type login then you have to provide the password as well here okay and only with this password okay through this password they can log in if you will type login local here then they need username and password or if you will type here no login then you do not need password just you need the ip address of this 
router so in the three ways you can enable tenlet on the router so now i have set and now i will exit from here and again exit and now i will write this config as in the starter config okay now we have done with the router now we will provide the static ip to these all pc but before i will make some notes here that will be that will make easy for us understanding the concept our port number fa0/0 its ip address is 1.0.0.1 okay and next to this pc4 is my user deepak and uh, its ip would be 1.0.0.5 next come to pc5 and uh, it will be the user vishal and uh, its ip would be 1.0.0.10 got it and uh, my last pc that is pc7 it will be my linux kings and its ip would be 1.0.0.20 and uh, for pc6 it's my normal client and uh, its ip would be 1.0.0.4 okay so this is the information that would be easy to configure the these pc so here first we will go to the pc4 and here we will provide the static ip assign this static ip to this pc so here i uh, just type 1.0.0.5 okay and i have given the ip to this i am not assigning any dns or and we haven't configured the dhcp server so that uh, we can provide the ip so we are assigning these static ip to this pc for pc5 we have 1.0.0.10 okay and uh, we have default gateway here 1.0.0.1 okay and here as well we have the default gateway because all the pc will communicate with this default gateway okay sorry 1.0.0.1 okay enter and next to this pc we have assigned the ip that is 1.0.0.4 and uh, the default gateway is same as all devices have and next last one that is our linux kings assigning ip to this 1.0.0.20 and the default gateway is 1.0.0.1 okay now we have assigned the basic configuration to all the pc now we have to telnet on these clients to access telnet on these pc we have to go to command prompt okay and here we simply type telnet 1.0.0.1 and now hit enter now here you can see it is asking for the user verification so for that we have to provide the name okay for this we have assigned user deepak okay so we will type deepak and the password deepak okay as you can see here we have come into the user exact mode now it is asking password to go into the user privilege mode so for that we have assigned the password telnet and here we are in the privilege mode of the router now here you can do all the things that you do on the router okay so with the help of this pc you can make any changes now here we will do same with this pc5 we will go to command prompt and do telnet from here that is our ip for telnet okay again asking for the user verification and it's the password visal okay enable and again the password and here we are in the privilege mode of router and again and here you can check uh, the running configuration as well whatever we have done on the router so here you can see that the password that we have assigned it is encrypted because we have used md5 algorithm here and here you below you can see the username and password that we have assigned to this okay
next we will go to the last pc that is pc7 and here again we will do the same we will do telnet here and 1.0.0.1 1. okay and enter and here we will give the password and username and here we run the router and just type the password and here it comes the main point suppose these users these are juniors from the linux king they can do the same as well but here i am giving the example to you so these are uh, performing pc4 and pc6 are performing their normal routine okay but here pc7 that is your linux king is the senior of these two juniors now it want to send some information or want to give some warning or an error message to these junior network engineers so what it will do so it will send a message directly by using the router so how it will do so for that you have to go to the router privilege mode and here you just type send space star okay nothing else than this this type send send means you want to send a message and star will broadcast the message to all active users that are currently logged in on this particular router okay so now here type star and hit enter after entering you will see a line that says end with control z and abort with control c so if you want to continue then type your message and end this chat with con by pressing control z and if you want to stop this process right now just press control c okay so here i will type a simple message hi i am linux kings door senior okay so after writing this i will press control z now it ask for the confirmation then it will send the message okay press y or you can hit enter now you can see that here we type the message and it is broadcasted okay here we wrote this message now the router will broadcast this message to all the active users okay now here to the same it broadcasted for the linux kings so let's check that it broadcasted for these users as well or not so click on this come to this okay here you can see that we were in the config global configuration mode but uh, as we broadcasted this message enter this message by the linux king these junior engineers also saw this message on their terminal okay it will be same for this visual user as well okay here you can see you can scroll down and you can see that here it is also the message that will that is saying that hi i am linux king your senior okay so in this way they can also do the same as Visal is sending a message to other active users this is very important because sometimes they can they don't want to chat but it is necessary to send a message to all active users somehow they cannot uh, interact with each other so with this facility or with this function they can send a message to their colleagues or seniors it is very good way for communication between the network engineers without using any other instrument or equipment they are sending messages to each other okay so friends the visual can also send this message as you can see hi i am visual and press control z and enter okay now let's check for the debug okay here you can see it is showing the message and for the linux thing it is also showing so it is very easy friends that you can send a private message to any person who is currently logged in on the router so friends this was my tutorial or on how to send a private message using cisco router so if you like this <laughs> and uh, if you are new on this channel please subscribe linux kings so friends stay with us and see you in the next video thanks guys for watching